My dear angel. What? What's in the nearby? Sure. There, I've heard that some groups have... Here. We're finally here. I hope the beacon of this lost city actually works. For fuck's sake, it's better. Walking to the pole would be a pain in the ass. The rover mods have made my baby more sluggish than, well, me after a few drinks. Anyway, I can tell you that we aren't the first to go down this path. You think it's the ASC? Not sure, but I can make out tracks. Some of which look older than you. Uh, this brings back memories. What else is fucking new? No, I... I've been down that road before. Yeah, I'm 50, 90, 100% sure. It's with your father. And you couldn't say that earlier? I, I... I wasn't familiar with the road. I'm sorry. I just didn't realize that this was the city that we... All right, settle down, you two. Let's not dwell on the past. We can do that later, when it's warm. But Scott, if you've been here before, your memories can be useful. I wonder if Victor's beat us to the punch. If he did... He wouldn't destroy it. He couldn't. He's an egomaniac. He'd just want credit for being the first to turn it. No, what worries me is what happens if he discovers our secret. Either way, it's time to end this. Time for a little payback. Mancer style. Zack, I'm nervous. Whatever we discover could change our lives and everyone's on Mars. Do we really want to contact a planet that has neglected us for so long? If we don't do it, someone else will. And they might have less than pure intentions. True. Better us than someone like Victor. But still, it's such a... precarious responsibility.
What are you doing here? I was just reading, and I found out. Shit, this is your fault. You knew? That we're all mutants? Yes, that's the secret. The one we share at initiation and bear into our grades. The one we try to protect at any cost. Do you understand why now? You, the others. I could see it. I wouldn't even be surprised, but me? Never. I could never be one of those abominations. We all have the genes that the settlers made. Just like Great Master Ian was. Just like Sean was. Just like Connor, Melvin, Andrew, and I are. You are a mutant, Alan. Shut up! Not another word! Are you done? I... I am sorry, Zack. What have I done? I've tried so hard to destroy you and the others. Wanted so much to be the best. That I ended up rushing my brothers, my sisters, towards their ruin. You were so gifted. So loved by our masters. I hated you and them with a passion. And I could never understand why. I was blind. Stuck believing that I deserved to be special. If I only knew that then. He knows, you know. Because of me. You're talking about Victor. Yes. He was there when we found the documents. And the moment they were in his grasp, he looked at me like a piece of meat and started laughing. The charm melted away and the cruelty came. You have to kill him, Zack. If he survives. I know. I'll do my duty. Question is, what should we do with you? Normally I'd tell you what a non-dumbass would do, but I'm gonna keep my trap shut for this one. This is about your kin, and after what he's done, he's gotta answer to you, and only you.
rover. Probably belongs to the ASC. Bridge collapsed behind them, but Victor couldn't have gone too far. Better keep my guard up. are back. We keep punching them in the urethra and they keep coming back for more. As long as Victor breeds, his men will hunt like wolves. And let's shove a stick so far up their asses they can't hunt. Poor walk.
Zachariah Manser. I was wondering if you'd make it this far. But I must admit you're particularly sharp. For a mutant. You are too late. I've already discovered the dark secret that your kind has hidden for so long. However, this city... Amazing, isn't it? So full of wonders. A complex of keys to a brand new world. That doesn't matter. You're not gonna live to see it. Really? Do you intend to kill me? Like that poor boy, Jeff? You won't get the opportunity, I'm afraid. My men are a little bit on edge after what you did to their comrade. Now, if you would be so kind, I'm going to pry that last secret out of the belly of this city. The one that will give me a hero's welcome back at abundance. Help me impose a new world order. Farewell, Zachariah. Chin up. Thanks to your hard work, abundance will now have a bigger, brighter future. Sorry to bother you, but I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I have to admit, even after everything, you are still full of surprises. Such tenacity. Your efforts are futile. Don't you understand? If not me, someone else is bound to reveal your secret. So why not use this revelation as an opportunity? As a chance to promote the corporation that raised you? You're the one who doesn't realize he's playing with fire and that even tyrants can burn. We shall see. That's your stomach. Afraid not, but whatever it is, it sounds big and angry. We better hurry to Center City.
Surely the beacon is here. This place is breathtaking. The ice has preserved it well. Initializing storage system display. Connection to Earth in progress. Destroyed. Earth is gone. All these years wasted dreaming of a rescue from a place that's nothing but a cloud of scattered rocks. Everyone on Mars, if they hear of this, they'll be devastated. What am I gonna tell them? What should I do, Andrew? Wish I had the perfect answer for you. But I can only tell you how I feel. And I feel that people deserve the truth. The truth will set us free, right? Without a doubt, it will cause riots, maybe even wars. But you'll finally give people a chance to leave their lives of ignorance. Knowing that Mars is all we have is a scary thing, but it's just as liberating. And ceasing to pretend that technomancers are human We'll let you, me, and all our brothers and sisters live openly, free and proud. And I'm sure that Noctis or Mutant Valley would welcome us if the Corporation's views on us turn sour. What do you think, Misha? I think it's our responsibility to tell the world that there's nothing to expect from the outside. But we have to do it gently. Otherwise, we'd be looking at a worldwide revolution. And if you reveal your true colors to abundance, it won't accept you for who you are, but you know you'll always be welcome at Noctis. Whatever happens, your support could shift the balance of power on Mars, and what better city to pick than Noctis, the one place that accepts all walks of life, human or mutant. What do you think I should do, Amelia? Grow a pair of ears, will ya? I say, cut the bullshit. Tell everyone the truth. It'll suck in the beginning, but only by knowing will people start growing. <laughs> Damn, I should be a poet. Abundance might fall, but after what they did to us, sucks to suck. Then we could always crash in Noctis or Mutant Valley, right? Scott, I need advice. It's a difficult decision indeed. I, I would be tempted myself to spill the beans, as you youths would say, but I still... I know from experience that the truth is quite like a mushroom cloud. Do you want to set off the bomb? Not just one, but two terrible, awful, catastrophic secrets. I shuddered. But, Zack, nothing stops us from going home. With Victor's passing, you would undoubtedly... Well, there's always a small chance. Likely become the great master of Abundance's Technomancers. And you could do great things for our corporation and our city. Help science, stop corruption, restore justice. You could do it all, my boy. Just right now, I, I would very much like for us to go home and live none the wiser. It's time for the truth. There'll be no more hiding, no more secrets. I'm gonna tell them of Earth's destruction and reveal the true identity of every single Technomancer on the planet. This news will send shockwaves across Mars, but it's the first step for changing our planet, for the better. Let's go, Mutant Valley awaits. Looking back now, I bet I wouldn't even recognize the young Zachariah Mancer who just earned his stripes. And little did I know that all my choices would compound together and shape the city under the ice. 
By allowing Bulgakov safe passage out of the city, the resistance survived and thrived, and their support later proved invaluable. Despite my orders, I couldn't bring myself to kill my fellow man, and I let the deserters and their leader go, only to find that one day, he would return the favor. I remember letting poor Dave go, understanding he only betrayed me to protect his family. Meanwhile, a more dangerous spy was hiding in my shadow. Despite everything Jeffrey did to me, I couldn't let Nisha shoot him down like a dog. And even in all my efforts to be a good soldier, I was still exiled from Ophir. No matter what happened, Victor was always gonna discredit me. Yet my decisions of friends, alliances, would greatly influence the events that followed. The day I left Ophir in a stolen rover was the day I had chosen the people alongside me to become my companions, through adventure, misfortune, and into battle. Later, I agreed to help Dandolo chase the Vori out of Noctis, for good, cutting them off at the bridgehead they hoped to use to infiltrate every settlement on Mars. And because of that, Anton came close to paying the ultimate price when his men picked him as the scapegoat. But he's not a man you get rid of that easily. By becoming the great master of Technomancers, I've earned their unwavering loyalty, but I've also accepted a lifelong responsibility since I've left the city under the ice, I've had many young apprentices, and the Order is powerful again, a future bright. Phobos, a great strategist and an even better friend, turned out to be a tremendous leader of Mutant Valley. So when the corporations attacked again and again, Phobos held the line again and again. With few losses in battle and a flood of incoming refugees, he is now head of the most powerful force on the planet. The release of the mutants of Ophir opened a breach that was never resealed. Thousands upon thousands of mutants escaped to join Mutant Valley. And today, the citizens of Abundance actually have to do the labor themselves. Nisha still runs missions for Dandolo, but I can tell her heart's not in it. I think she's beginning to see that her father figure, as charming and caring as he may appear to be, is really a master manipulator. I won't hesitate to make less than ethical choices to serve the best interests of his city. I don't mind. It gives me more time to spend with warm, loving, beautiful, real Nisha. And less time with cold, calculating, and okay, still beautiful, super spy Nisha. And she's finally starting to sing again. And I dabble in harmony. I visit Scott on occasion. He's still probably legally crazy, but he's found a way to use that eccentric energy for good. He treats children in the slums of Ophir, though this time he's not using them as guinea pigs. Dandolo made the most of our alliance, as you would expect. Noctis is now ubiquitous. Its merchants have obtained the right to citizenship in Ophir and are free to come and go from the exchange as they please. The opposition showed its strength when it helped me overthrow Victor, and the people have rewarded them with several seats in the assembly. Now, they promote their same ideals, but do so in a more legal fashion. I'm afraid that with their repeated outbursts, they're on a collision course with the violent side of human nature, but I admire their passion. Yet nothing compared to my revelations. Learning that Earth was destroyed, discovering that Technomancers were mutants crafted in the vision of the settlers. When I announced the truth, the corporations lashed out. There were widespread riots and revolts, and most Technomancers fled before the leaders of the Alliance could put the pieces together. To adapt to Mars, we had to mutate, or we wouldn't survive. Remaining human had only been an illusion, and one that we had unknowingly mastered. I heard that a few scientists have reproduced Scott's experiments, and I have no doubt there'll be more of us in the future. One day, Mutant Valley won't be the only place a mutant can call home. Instead, it'll be the capital, for a race spread across Mars. At least that's what I hope. <laughs>